This is a public service announcement regarding the protection of the California Chaparral region. The California Chaparral region, located in every county in the state, is one of California's most diverse ecosystems. The climate in the Chaparral is almost desert-like, getting only 17 inches of rain a year. The biome's vegetation is primarily made up of tangled shrubs and thorny bushes. About 2,036 plants other than trees exist in the region. These different plants thrive in the region because of the large area for growth and the climate. There is an abundance of animals throughout the chaparral, such as jackrabbits, coyotes, and over 100 species of birds. The California chaparral is a very diverse ecosystem that is rapidly shrinking due to human development. Trees in large areas of land in the region have been cut down and cleared to supplement room for the growing human population. Not only has this destroyed the habitats of birds and many other animals, it has also caused many non-native plants to invade the region. These invasive species are more flammable than the native plants, raising the risk for wildfires in the region. The native plants have a tolerance to the wildfires, but invasive species do not, thus causing a lack of vegetation. Vegetation is also lost due to humans starting fires for unwanted debris to make room for development. Indirect development, such as creating trails and roads, is causing vegetation loss by the increased human traffic. For example, the Butte Fire destroyed more than 500 homes, transformed the landscape, and devastated entire communities in 2015 in the California Chaparral region. If human development did not take place in this region, this devastation could have been avoided. Many wildlife conservationists are working hard to combat this issue, but they cannot do it alone. We are proposing to halt human development in certain areas altogether in order to preserve the remaining wildlife and ecosystem. If limits are not put on human development, it could, in theory, destroy the whole biosphere of the California chaparral completely. The certain areas where we should halt development would be subject to areas with special high-risk circumstances, such as endangered species. Protecting more land will ensure that the remaining organisms can develop peacefully and begin to expand naturally, rather than their growth being stunted by human development. Restricting human development will be beneficial to the California chaparral because it will protect the natural wildlife and the native vegetation. Please contact your local legislator to make a difference and to protect the California chaparral for years to come.